Hi, my name is Dr. Shridhar Panat. I am a PhD from MIT and alumni of IIT Madras and one of the co-founders of Visuara AI Labs. I am making this recording to give you a fairly good idea about our AI high school researcher program, which is meant for students from grades 8th to 12th. We have split this program into two phases. In the first phase, the students will be attending a series of live lectures online, which will happen over a duration of eight weeks. Every week, there will be around one and a half hours of session with homeworks and assignments in between. The purpose of these lectures is to give a good mathematical foundational understanding of various machine learning and deep learning models at a level that is comfortable for the students. In the second phase, students will be entering into a research mode where they will pick an, pick an easy but still impactful research problem statement at their level. And this could be a problem statement that is a mix of AI with any domain. It could be AI and agriculture, AI and healthcare, or AI with music or art, anything. So here the idea is to apply some of the models that the students have learned during the lectures towards solving a relatively simple research problem statement. Now, of course, depending on the impact of the problem statement, we can target venues that are harder and more selective. Here, the singular focus is to give the students a flavor of what exactly is research, how does scientific writing works, how to form a hypothesis and how to work towards a, a goal. So the real goal, which is a tangible outcome here, would be in the form of a conference paper or a journal publication. So the live lecture timings are as follows. There are students from various time zones attending the lectures. So for the ongoing batches, we have timings uh, at 8.30 p.m. IST. So there are students from India, Singapore, US, UK, etc. attending. The timing is subjected to change depending on the batch size and the batch time zone. However, we'll be trying to strictly follow the timeline as shown here. The students can discuss their progress in their research during the second half of the live lecture phase, which will be the second month of the program. But if some students require guidance beyond the eight week time, which can happen, we'll be extending support one to one through emails and through collaborative documents such as overleaf documents. So this is in a nutshell how live lectures and research publishing works. The entire structure of this program is designed by the co-founders of Vijwara, Dr. Raj Dandekar, who is also a PhD from MIT, Dr. Rajat Dandekar, another co-founder of Vijwara, with a PhD from Purdue University and myself, Dr. Sridhar, uh, who also did PhD from MIT. We are all graduates from IIT Madras who were respective department toppers. And we strongly believe that it is very high time that AI has to be part of the school curriculum, which is the case. Uh, US has already introduced AI as a, a subject in their curriculum. China has mandated it starting from grade one. And even in India, AI is now a skill subject and it is going to become a mandatory subject in the near future. Our program is nearing its first year of existence and it has already been extremely successful. So these are some of the sample papers from our students. We have had students whose work was accepted to MIT URTC in 2024. It actually happens at MIT in the month of October. And uh, we have had papers published in archive, which are already under review in Journal of Emerging Investigators. And uh, we have papers that are already published at JEI. So uh, we'll be continuing to submit papers to impactful venues. And these are papers that are completely worked end to end by the students with our guidance. As I mentioned earlier, our student community is from various parts of the world. So it will be a very diverse cohort that you will be part of. And some of our program alumni have gone on to amazing places like UC Berkeley for undergraduate studies. So this is all um, one of the aspects of how you can leverage the experience of publishing research papers and presenting in international conference to your advantage for top tier undergraduate admits. And uh, we are primarily targeting top tier journals. So Journal of Emerging Investigators is uh, maintained by researchers from Harvard University, JEI. It's a famous research, paper, research journal for students of uh, high school age. And we also do target MIT URTC conference. We do publish in archive. So these are for preprints. And for more ambitious and more capable students, there are workshops which are part of uh, famous conferences like NeurIPS or ICML. 
these are the greatest avenues where you can interact with professors working in AI ML domain from all over the world. And we have had success with papers getting accepted to uh, Journal of Emerging Investigators, conference presentation and submission to MIT, URTC, as well as uh, multiple papers being already published as preprint on archive, which is currently under peer review in other, other journals. And there are three ways in which you can be part of the program. The first one is called a self-paced theoretical learning module, which we are calling as AI ML Foundation. So this is completely self-paced where you will get access to the theoretical uh, material which we are covering during the live lectures. So this is for students who probably don't have the bandwidth to attend the live lectures. The second aspect is for those students who want to bypass the live lectures who just want to be part of the research cohort. So you will be only be part of the research paper writing aspect of the program, not the live lectures. And the pricing is as follows, rupees 60,000. And our most popular program is the combination of both phase one and phase two with live lectures plus um, research paper writing guidance. And this is at 95,000 rupees. So you can uh, join the program by clicking on either of these links. The curriculum for the eight week journey is very structured and will be delivered by our instructors who are part of the Vijwara's AI research team. And you will have a very good, ex very good experience interacting with the mentor, uh, building a strong foundation for AI ML for the probably the first time in your life and then working towards a tangible outcome at the end of the program. The students who are part of this program will also get access to three exclusive research tools that we have internally developed at Vijwara. So the first tool is a tool which will help students perform vibe coding. So vibe coding, the idea is that can you uh, talk with a programming language just using natural language, like just the way you speak. So this term was coined by Andre Karpathy, who is a famous AI ML researcher. And we have introduced this vibe coding module so that student can get accustomed to writing codes that are difficult to otherwise write without the help of AI. So this will be very useful when you are working on ML or deep learning models to solve a problem. So this module will be the first module that you will be getting introduced to as part of the research phase. The second tool is a field selector tool. Field selector tool is meant to help students think about, okay, these are the different fields in which I can merge AI and come up with a impactful problem statement, which, which interests them. So we have already put some uh, detailed guidelines on how to select a field. So let's say I am interested in healthcare. I can choose the field and then there are different difficulty levels for problem statement. And this is fairly uh, easy to visualize because top tier journals and conferences, they will almost always um, accept problem statements that are usually at that point found to be challenging by the researchers. And there are many low hanging fruit problem statements, which you can start with if you are a complete beginner. So here there are various difficulty levels that we have introduced. And then uh, here we are providing a sample of, okay, if you are forming a hypothesis in your domain, what would that be? And uh, let's say you are working on heart disease or brain tumor or using NLP for uh, predicting how long this patient would be requiring um, uh, inpatient uh, like a bed in the hospital so that the insurance company can provide uh, insurance coverage for that many days. So if you are forming a hypothesis in your problem statement, it has to be clearly defined and it should have certain structure. So that is what we try to set here in this field selector tool. The last tool that the student will get access to is the JEI author guide, which we prepared so that students can have a, a structured thought process when it comes to writing a research paper. So starting from hypothesis to, work, to coding using the vibe coding module, then writing the manuscript in a certain format, then formatting the figures, making the figures which form the backbone of the paper, and finally writing the final version of the paper draft so that we can review it and give them extensive feedback. So this whole process happens in uh, well-defined steps where you either um, validate your hypothesis or you invalidate your hypothesis, just like how you do in an actual 
uh, PhD level research problem statement. So that is exactly what the student will be going through in this part of the module. So all of this will be accessible to students who are part of our uh, researcher plus life course module, which is the complete program experience module, the third one here. And uh, the duration of the program, as I mentioned, is eight weeks for the live lectures. And beyond that, it will be one to one email based support. And we usually tend to have batches with maximum eight students, uh, probably not beyond that. And the usual grades of students from whom people attend the program are between eighth grade to 12th grade. So if more students come, we will, we will have a uh, selection process where we try to identify the student with the greatest aptitude. And uh, if the student also has sufficient, um, you know, uh, work-life balance, like if you have a very hectic semester going on, you probably won't have enough time to dedicate towards this program. So we'll be lo looking at various criteria to make sure that the student is actually going to be able to spend enough time in this program. So if you are ready to start this program, you can already sign up. If you have any questions, you can reach out to our co-founder, Dr. Rajat, whose uh, email ID as well as WhatsApp number is provided here. So you can send him a message or email. If you have certain doubts or questions, you can scroll to the very bottom of the website. We have added some FAQs, which we'll be populating as and when we require more frequently asked questions. But uh, we have tried to add as much details as possible in this web page. So just go through this and you can sign up for the program. If you if you want clarification on the exact time frame, um, like exact date at which you can start, whether the admissions are rolling basis, when is the new batch starting, etc. You can simply reach out to Dr. Rajat through the email. So I hope this brings a lot of clarity to how exactly the program functions. Thank you so much and looking forward to seeing you in the program.